and it was pretty freaking sweet. Like, it, I just thought it was cool. And I like this shot. Like, you can tell that that's a highway. I also took this photo through a window. Most of these photos that I've taken are through a window. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new form of video on this channel. Uh, this is going to be more of a photography video, but it's not going to be the traditional sense of photography or when you search photography videos on YouTube. Um, this is not going to be one of those videos where I take out a camera and show you all this show you how to use the camera and do gear and tech reviews. And that's that's not what this style of video is going to be. And mainly because I'm broke. <laughs> I mean, not broke in the sense of like, I have no money, but like, I don't have money to be buying new cameras and renting new cameras and testing them and experimenting with them. No, rather, I would like to show you guys some of the photography that I have been working on and this is going to be sharing some of my own personal work, not the client work. So to kick things off, I thought it would be nice to share photos that I don't think I've shared anywhere else. Um, I hold a lot of work uh, close to my heart. Um, a lot of work does not get shared on the internet. And I would like to start sharing some of that. And I figured YouTube would be a great place to do it. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you guys some photos that I took um, a little more than a year ago now in Tijuana. A uh, little backstory on that. My wife went to Tijuana to have um, gastric sleeve surgery, and I went with her as a support. And I always bring my camera. We were supposed to document a whole lot of stuff. But I always bring my camera, and while I was there, yes, I did capture photos of my wife. No, they are not in this uh, video. This video is showing pictures that I took of the place and the situations that we were in. And here we go. And I'll be talking throughout the video. Um, I'm pulling them up and looking at the images with you while I'm going over them. This first image or the first image in this series is an image I took in the airport. Um, we flew out of New Orleans and we flew to Texas, but this was the New Orleans airport and they had recently built a new terminal. And so I just wanted to capture this and you can't see it because I made the photo black and white, but there was a lot of color here. I really wanted to capture the sunrise. We got up at the butt crack of dawn and I had to be at the airport stupid early. So the sun was coming up, it was hitting this window. You should be able to see that there's a lot of highlight in the window and that's why the sun was starting to come up. And I thought this was a great intro image to the trip. I love a good airport image. Um, you can see if you look really closely, towards the middle of the image, there's a person walking um, I'm not sure what that place is called, the tarmac, the runway, I'm not sure what it's called, but someone is on the ground under that building. And you'll see that kind of a lot throughout this whole set of images is that I tried to capture a person, but this was the first person of the day. The next shot here is a classic um, everyone loves a good looking out the window. I'm on an airplane. Look at the wing of this airplane shot. I love the sub framing. I like how dark the actual inside of the plane is. I expose for outside, obviously. But if you look near the bottom right of the frame, you'll also see a lump. That lump is my wife. Uh, she was trying to sleep, but I thought it was nice. I just think this image is nice. Like it's a very visually pleasing image with the sub framing, the wing, the clouds, all of it. Moving on, you will see the back of the seat that I was sitting in. So this is more just like documenting where we were, what was happening, what was going on, the plane that we were on. So I know that that's the like plain number, but I still thought it was a cool shot. Um, literature only. 
And now we get to the meat and potatoes of this whole set. And this was the first, one of the first pictures I took when we got to Tijuana. Um, I didn't take any pictures in, I think we flew to Dallas first and then Tijuana, but I didn't take any pictures in Dallas. This was the first picture of Tijuana. This is taken from the window of the hotel that we stayed in. And when we got to the hotel, I immediately went to the window. I was like, I have to see what the outside looks like. And this is what I got. There's, so a little backstory, guys. I'm from Louisiana. There are very few hills, no mountains. Um, it's very flat, plain, uh, nothing uh, geographically up and down that you can really see, especially where I live. So seeing uh, hills and mountains and things like that are exciting to me. They're new to me. And if you guys look at this photo, you'll notice that there's a giant um, kind of glare in the middle. And that is because I took this photo through a window. But I really enjoy this image. The next image is a vertical version. But if you look directly in the middle of the image towards the center, you'll see that that is one of the main highways in Tijuana. Uh, whenever we got there, we, we took a, um, we took a little van ride from the airport in Tijuana to the hotel. And we actually traveled along that highway and it was pretty freaking sweet. Like it, I just thought it was cool. And I like this shot. Like you can tell that that's a highway. I also took this photo through a window. Most of these photos that I've taken are through a window, but I really like this shot. Um, I like the foreground element of the trees at the bottom, at the very, very bottom. You can see the rooftop of the hotel that we were staying in. And then I shot this over more rooftops. But the fact that, that there is so much going on in this photo, like this looks uh, like it, it's very visually pleasing to me, especially with the highway in the middle. Moving on, this was a nighttime photo. I cranked the ISO up a bit. I also cranked the edit up a bit, quite a bit, but I wanted to show all the city lights and I just think it looks pretty. It does not look much better in color, just so you know. The next photo is very similar, but if you look in the left hand of the frame, you will notice that it's my wife's head sitting in the chair with her hand like up to her face. I wasn't gonna keep this originally, but I thought that the nighttime shot with the semi double exposure glare thing, reflection, if you will, I thought that looked kinda cool and it also provides a human element to what was going on. And it also reminds me that I shot this through a window. The next image <clears throat> was one of the first images I took from the hospital. So whenever my wife had the surgery in Tijuana, we, <clears throat> we, fly, we flew from New Orleans to Dallas, from Dallas to Tijuana. And then the first night you get there, you stay in a hotel. And then the next night, the next two nights you spend at the hospital. So this was the day of her surgery. And Remember when I said that we don't really see mountains and stuff where I'm from in Louisiana? Well, looking at mountain ranges up close, I mean, this is kind of up close for me, but looking at mountain ranges like this is still interesting. This was early morning. There's like a, ha a haze in the air, not because it was so far away, but because there was like actual haze in the air. I thought that was cool. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this photo is the giant empty billboard in the right of the frame, but I didn't want to crop it. Uh, I just, like this was the view from the window in the hospital. Also, I'm pretty sure I had to stand on like the desk or a chair or something to look out of this window. So fun fact. This is one of my favorite images from the set. Um, I'm not, so I'm not in the business of making Mexico look bad. I don't want to make any country look bad, especially when I'm a visitor. 
However, when I looked out this window, it made me think of like a traditional, um, stereotypical Mexican movie. And one of the reasons that I changed it to black and white was because I didn't want to make it look any worse. And also, one of the things that makes this one of my favorite images is the person in the middle of the photo. Um, I'm pretty sure I did this on purpose. I'm pretty sure I just like saw him walking down the street and waited until he was in the smack dab middle of the frame. And for some reason, he just stood there. And it was awesome, so I took the photo. Also, I love the uh, mountain ranges and stuff in the background. Moving on, if you guys know me at all, you know that I am a huge fan of churches, um, not the chicken place. I do, I do like church chicken, but that's beyond the point. This was the, I don't know, like one of the only actual church buildings that I noticed and I couldn't help myself. Like this was as far as, this is the longest lens I had, the best photo I could get without actually going out on the street. And it's in the middle. I love center framing. I don't know why, but a lot of the images in this series has center framing and I just like it. I also enjoy the car further down in the center. Like there's a lot of center stacking here. Um, like the foreground of the building that was next to the hospital, the car, the building in the middle. And then if you keep going up, there's a church. And then if you keep going up, there's mountains in the back. Like, I just enjoy this whole thing. There's a lot of elements to this photo. This image was focused on the mountain in the background, but also capturing all of that foreground stuff. So another kind of documentary environmental image of Tijuana and just the area that we were in. Here is another image focusing on a person in the middle. So this guy was crossing the street and he, he was waiting for cars, but I'm also sure he was just looking for something. So I love images of people, especially like people being small in the image. I'm not sure what it is right now, but I'm really enjoying that. This next image, so this is looking across the street from the hospital. So I'm still at a diagonal, but if you can see, there is a person. And this person was walking down the sidewalk or the street. I'm not sure, I don't remember. It was like over a year ago. But this person was walking and I'm not entirely satisfied with the framing. I wish it was more center. Um, like I said, I'm enjoying center framing for this series, but this is as close to center as I could get. I didn't want to crop anything uh, from the sides anyway. That's why you can see all of, like you can see so much foreground. I didn't want to crop anything. This next image. So this was the day after my wife's surgery. She was sleeping a lot. Um, I mean, she was in recovery from surgery. So there wasn't a lot to do other than sit there and watch movies on TV. But I wanted to try to go out and take photos. And of course we thought you know, it's Mexico, it's not gonna, the forecast didn't say it was supposed to rain, so I didn't really bring a rain jacket. Also, I didn't wanna like wander around or too far away from the hospital. So this is like on the first floor of the hospital, probably like the next building over. And it started to like rain, rain. So instead of like turning around, I tried to stay out there for a little bit and I captured this. So the background is blurry. I tried to do a panning shot with this car. Um, I really enjoyed the blur in the background. I tried my hardest to nail focus. I think I missed, but I like the splash from the rainwater on the ground. Um, I like how, again, the car is center frame. Here is another example of me trying to do a panning shot. Um, this is probably as close as I have ever gotten to doing it correctly. Um, I slowed that shutter down a lot and then I tried my hardest to nail focus. I like that there's two cars though and that you can kind of see that they're mostly in focus, but I really enjoy the shot. 
we're coming up on the end, I promise. This was a fun shot. So I was leaning against like the a wall. This person on the right bottom corner on the motorcycle actually was the Uber driver because I forgot to bring cash like a dummy. And so I had to order Uber every time I wanted to eat. But this guy was the Uber driver. And if you look more towards the center, a little to the left, right above the hood of this like small SUV Jeep thing, you'll see that there's people walking. Final image. So something interesting about this image is there's actually a camera ish store. I'm not really sure I didn't get to go in it. There's what I believe to be a camera store across the street. And so it's not the direct across the street building, but it's the building to the right with the van and the PT cruiser looking car out in front of it. That is a camera store. And then farther to the right, right along the edge, you'll see um, Optica, which means eyes. So it's an eye store, a photography store. And then I'm not sure what this is directly across the street, but all of this was directly across the street from the hospital. And I just thought it was cool. Another photo just documenting where we were. I know that I have rambled on and talked to you guys about all of the pictures in here. Um, I have been really enjoying longer form content longer form videos where people go through a set or a series of photos that they made. And I just wanted to try my hand at it. Um, I wanted to try to make something longer form, sit and go through a set of images with you guys. If you really like this type of video or if you like this video at all, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. I would love to know what you guys think of the photos. Um, like I said, these haven't really been shared anywhere. I'm pretty sure I didn't share these anywhere yet. YouTube saw it first. But that's all I have for today. These are personal photographs to me. Um, I am forever trying to become a better artist, trying to become a better photographer, and sharing a little bit of my personal work is always fun, but I would love to get you guys' feedback. So please and thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you already hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G, and you can believe that. Peace.